In this video, I'm going to be showing you all you need to know about slurry for cows in Farming Simulator 22. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about slurry. Okay, so you can see slurry there. We've got 16,972 litres on board. So we go over to our barn. So let's go check out our location. So this is where we get the slurry out of. Okay, so it's already the, the barn already comes with an onboard slurry um, tank. Unlike the manure, which is required to put the heap down to collect manure and add the straw, the slurry is inherently um, stored in the barn through this point here. Okay, now we can boost the capacity of the slurry tank. So you can see there we've got 16,972 litres of about 100,000 litres, I think, for the cow barn. If we want to boost the silo capacity, we can come into silo extensions. And we've got two options here, liquid manure extension tank small for 500,000 and then the 2.6 million litre variety just here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this one down and I just wanna have a quick chat about some of the features of it. So you can see straight up that there's no interaction point on this tank. It's strictly just an extension. So basically what that means is this tank for slurry is gonna boost the capacity of this barn and this point here is going to be where the slurry comes out, okay? Now if we go back into our menu, we can see that our slurry bar has really shrunk down to a very minute green. So that basically signifies the overall capacity of that bar has increased dramatically. So in this case, it'd be like 2.7 million liters of slurry, okay? So that's one way to boost your capacity. The other way is to use a silo in the silos menu. So we've got a liquid manure tank, okay? This one is independent because you can see there on the front. So if I sw swing, it, swing it around to the right there, it's got an overloading point and a loading point. So this functions independently of the extension. So basically it means you have to cart the slurry with the slurry tanker from the barn where I'm standing over to this point. It doesn't automatically transfer like it does with the extension, okay? So my preference is to use the extension, place close to the barn. You're never gonna run out of storage if you go the larger option, okay? All right, so now how do we get our slurry out of here and what do we do with it? Let's go have a look at some vehicles. All right, so you've got the vehicular option, okay? So we've got slurry tanks. So we've got hydro trike and the oxbow. So basically pretty straightforward. These guys can be used to transport and they also can have a slurry a slurry spreader attached to the back, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use a slurry tank. So we're just gonna go with the Shouten V10-130. So if you find the tank that you like, push combinations with R3 and it'll tell you the appropriate attachment that goes with that. So you can see, for example, these guys here, have got an inbuilt sl slurry spreader built into the trailer so it's no additional cost so ones like this this one will take a slurry spreader of your choice so just for ease of actually let's just do this one we're gonna go to the farm tech i think so let's buy that all right so we've got a slurry tank let's go get this guy filled up so we just pull alongside we'll get the start filling icon so we're just going to go 3,000 liters there and now we just basically go over to a field that needs fertilizing so you'd use your in-game HUD to, to figure that out. All right, let's get this guy unfolded. So the slurry distributor is what this is called. So we'll get that in position. We'll get it lowered. Uh, we are going to drive over the field so you can see it's coming out. You can't see it in this crop, but it is coming out of the tank down below. And you basically just drive along your field. Usually you do this after plowing or whatever stage is required. You can also activate double application rate as well. So you can get two fertilizer states. Obviously you go a little bit slower but that's basically how you can use your slurry to fertilize your fields. Now you can also sell the slurry the same way as you can with the manure. So if you want to check the prices menu for slurry, you can see that there. And it also tells you your stock on hand in the prices menu as well, okay? Now why you'd want to use slurry and manure for fertilizer, so obviously fertilizer is quite expensive. So having cows in particular, and also pigs, I think they're the two main animals that produce manure and slurry. So if you've got them on your farm, you've basically got a, a free fertilizer supply in, this, in the form of slurry. You've got an additional supply of manure if you choose to use straw. Um, and then they're also producing milk in this case. So it's a bit of a cost saving by using the slurry, uh, by using the slurry and the, uh, the manure. However, some of the equipment can be a bit, of, a bit expensive to begin with. It just depends on what combination you use. So that's gonna be something you need to uh, reconcile if that's the way you want to go but I'm of the opinion you might, have, might as well use it if it's available just make sure that you know this is something you do probably later on in your playthrough with cows it's not something you probably jump into straight away because they are quite expensive to set up but the long, per long term benefits are quite good all right so that's slurry covered let's move on so there you have it guys my guide to slurry for cows in farming simulator 22 if you've got any questions leave a comment below and I'll get back to you 
Uh, don't forget to like the video if it helps you out uh, and subscribe to the channel for more um, and I will see you in the next one. And before I say bye for now, it's time for a swim. Bye for now.